Chapter 20 For the next few hours, Flora listened to the sound of the sheriff killing rats. During the silences, she imagined Sophia licking her paws for a moment before going after her next victim. Good for you, Flora whispered. She tried to get comfortable and let her mind wander to her real job, the one the captain would give her once they got to their destination. She laid her head down, and a snowy scene filled her mind. There were no trees, no grass, no stones. There were no creatures, only whiteness. Then over the snow came a sled team with a pig at the lead. A blizzard roared down out of nowhere until the dogs could, couldn't could see ten feet ahead of them. Their leader didn't need to see. She knew the way by heart. She was unstoppable. Don't you give up on me, she shouted to the dog behind her. She knew they were exhausted. Remember this. A sleigh team is tough. A sleigh team is strong. We don't give up. And we're a little bit crazy. Flora gave a hop and a wiggle to show her boys were unafraid she, how unafraid she was. And then she pulled with all her might. The sled surged forward. Flora slept and dreamed until a new sound woke her up. It was a cross between a moan and a meow. Sophia? The cat queen meowed near Flora's ear. I can't do it. She looked terrible. One of her ears was bloody. A patch of fur was missing from her shoulder. I'm a failure, she moaned. Nothing but a hairball, worthless. What happened, Flora sat up. How many rats did you kill? Zero, Sophia wailed. They ganged up on me. Flora couldn't help feeling a tiny quiver of satisfaction. I wish I could help. I shouldn't need help. Sophia th threw herself down on the board. Cats are supposed to be independent. Flora tried not to look happy. You need a team. Sophia licked her paws mournfully and then looked up. I do not. I'm a loner. Flora shook her head to, to make the, the chain rattle. Um, maybe you could take a crack at this rope around my neck after all. Sophia studied it doubtfully. Then she began to gnaw at the rope. After a few minutes, she gave a very uncat-like squeak. Did you get it? asked Flora. No, Sophia moaned. I think I broke a tooth. Just then, something heavy thudded at the top of the stairs, and the door opened with a bang. Now I'm going to teach you a lesson for good. Amos came into view. In one, held, in one hand, he held Flora's slops, and he had a stick under his arm. With his other hand, he dragged a lump of thump down that thumped down each step. At the bottom, Amos dropped the lump in a heap. You got a new job. He gave the heap a kick. I caught it. I caught you stealing food like a rat. Now catch rats or you don't eat here. Amos threw down the stick. Bang their heads with this. Lauren and, and matches are on the stairs. I wouldn't have to steal if you fed me enough. The, the heap lifted its head. Allergic? Amos put a bowl of of pig food down and turned back to the boy. You and that lazy cat had better kill rats every day or you don't eat at all anymore. Amos grabbed the bowl when Flora was finished. Only the pig eats for free. He stopped to the top of the stairs and slammed the door. Flora flinched. She knew she needed her strength. Still, she hadn't felt good about digging into a bowl full of food while Sophia and an allergic stood by hungry. Allergic picked up the sticks and pounded on the stairs. I won't be treated like a prisoner. No answer came from the top. He's in worse shape than I am, whispered Sophia. If cats were compassionate sort, I wouldn't feel sorry for him. The boy sat on the stairs and put his head on his knees. Flora and Sophia waited and watched. Then they got tired of waiting. They curled up together and fell asleep. Flora woke in the night from Sophia tapping, on, tapping her nose. Flora sat up. What's wrong? Shh, watch this. Sophia was looking towards a flicker of light moving above the shadow. He's hunting. Sometimes the light would race 
Sometimes the light would race one way or another, and sometimes the boy's stick could be could be heard banging against the floor or the walls of the ship. He doesn't know what he's doing, whispered Sophia. He can't hunt rats with a lantern. They'll run and hide. It was true. Flora could hear rats at the opposite end of the hole scuffling around in the dark, but the boy didn't seem to hear a thing. The next morning, Amos tromped down with a bowl of food and a scowl on his face. He glared at Allergic, who lifted his head from the bottom of the stairs where he had spent the night. He kicked at Sophia, who scurried out of reach of his big boots, but he didn't say a word. Flora could smell the delicious mixture even before the bowl was set in front of her. The leftovers were still warm. She was hungry as usual, but she wouldn't eat while her companion had nothing. She stayed where she was and watched Amos' face. Pig eat, he shouted. The food smell, smells from, made Flora's stomach growl and quiver. Now everything's wrong on this boat, Amos hollered. Rats and thieves eat the food upstairs. The, pigs, the pig doesn't eat food downstairs. I'll never be a cook on a boat again. As he grabbed the bowl away, a great splash of gravy and food slopped on the floor. Amos paid no attention. Marching up the stairs, he glared allergic again. You kill 20 rats, I'll give you another chance. As soon as the door closed, Flora followed her nose to the top where the food had spilled. Sophia was already sniffing the edge. When Flora's when Flora heard clicking, she whispered, Sophia, stand clear. It sounds like a rat. Sound like the rats are ready to try again. Sophia slinked out of sight. A crowd of whiskers and beady eyes appeared in the dim light. Noses twitched as the rats drew closer to the delicious smell. Flora eased herself into position, ready to bring the hammer down on a rat's head. Unfortunately, they were smart ones. These were smart ones. They warily stayed on the edge of the shadow. After a while, Flora slumped down and pretended to be asleep. She made little snoring noises, snoring noises and watched out of the slit of her eyes. The trio of rats came out of the shadows and began licking the gravy. Flora trembled with excitement, but waited. Two more rats joined. Flora jumped her tree and spun around. Pow! She let loose and felt her hooves connect with a pair of heads. Slam! She lashed out again. Sophia flashed from one twitching body to another. Then Flora and Sophia stood back and looked at their homework. Three more. Wow. Flora turned to Alexa, to allergic. He had lit the lantern again. Now he stood gazing at them and the rats. You guys are amazing. What a team. He reached out and scratched between Flora's ears. It felt heavenly. Sophia didn't even bother to say anything about cats and teams and said she rubbed Allergic's leg. Three rats. Allergic stood up. It's a good start. He reached down again, and Flora thought he was going to give her stomach another scratch, but instead she felt her finger working at the rope around the neck and felt the weight of the chain disappear. Come on, team. Allergic lifted his lantern to show the way. Let's get to work.